Hey guys, welcome to Motor Rides. My name is Amit, and as I've always been telling you guys that the automotive world is going through a bit of flux, and all the premium car makers in the world right now are scratching their heads as to what their future is going to be. You see, the things that made them special was essentially the engine. They knew how to make big, powerful engines, which made their cars powerful, and which in turn made them premium. But with cars like these, with a battery in the middle and motors powering the wheels, the gap between a premium performance car maker and a relatively new car maker also is rapidly decreasing. So for a car maker like say a BMW or a Ferrari, to give the users that edge in terms of performance is becoming increasingly difficult. Sure, they have some secrets close to their chest even now in the form of say the suspension or some details of the chassis but a large part of the game has been given away and in that context car makers like Hyundai who are very good in certain contexts have come up and lapped up the opportunity with cars like these now this is the reinvention of the car in a lot of ways and in that sense the Hyundai Ioniq is a very very special car and in this detailed review today you'll get to know a lot of stuff about this car that you probably have not seen anywhere else so if you're into detailed long format videos this video would be very enlightening so watch it till the end now while this might look like a crossover hatch kind of a form but this car is really huge the wheelbase here is indeed bigger than Hyundai's Palisade which is a big ass car and if you compare it with the EV6 the wheelbase here is about 100 mm longer so this car indeed packs in a lot of space and the details here are absolutely stunning and they're not just form related they're functional as well for example these flaps they will radiate heat when the battery and the motor are hot and will come down, will allow the air to go in and when your car is moving at a good speed, they'll just shut down and make sure that the energy efficiency is at its optimal. A few other beautiful design related details include this parametric pixel headlamp which is quite unlike anything else which you probably would have seen and the DRLs here also when lit up in the night look absolutely beautiful. The design itself is very clean, very sophisticated and very very futuristic. As I mentioned this car is unlike anything else you would have seen until now and it's not without reason that this car has won the World Car of the Year award in 2022 and has also won accolades for its unique design as well. There is a 360 degree camera as well and from the side you'll find this beautiful Z cut on the doors. It looks very amazing. Now what you would be amazed by as well is these wheels are aero and they enhance the efficiency of the car. The one thing that I don't understand though is that why if these wheels are so efficient they're not used on usual ice vehicles as well. If you guys have any idea do let me know in the comments section. Another design detail is right here in the form of these accents over the wheel arch and all of it these small details really make it stand apart this really looks like a stunning stunning design the ground clearance of this car is 183 mm laden which is quite high and it can take bad roads in its stride without a problem and a few other details are these flush fitting door handles the roof here is all glass it's a panoramic sunroof but it's not the sliding type so you'll not get the slide action and the irresponsible ones amongst you cannot let their children crane their necks out of that slot. Moving towards the back you also get the shark fin antenna, you get this beautiful spoiler with mounted high stop lamps and as I mentioned the design of this car is really unique no matter whichever way you look at it. At the rear also you get the parametric pixel design tail lamps and this is a bit of a cross between the DeLorean and the cars from the future so it really is an amazing amazing design the parametric pixel led lighting at the rear also gets this connected bar which makes it look really wide and nice now the rear wash and wipe is hidden here just like we saw it on the tucson which is quite amazing and just like the front the design here has some retro and some futuristic bits which really makes this car look amazing you'll have the front parking sensors the rear parking sensors you'll have this camera here you have the cameras on the wings and the 360 degree camera on this car is one of the best out there now in terms of space utilization this car has some of the most expansive cabins anywhere and the same applies to the boot as well this car comes with a power tailgate and as you can see because of the battery pack here 
the boot space is quite high up and the boot space here is upwards of 530 liters which is good enough for a family of four to go for a longish holiday you also have this pull out passer tray shelf and a 60 40 split rear seat which is going to allow you to extend your luggage area if you so wish you also have a 12 volt power socket and that's not all you have some more space to spare here the charger fits in here and you can shut it down using this button right here now this car also comes with vehicle to load capabilities and the power output here is 3600 watts or 3.6 kilowatt which can power quite some large energy consuming uh, appliances on the outside as well as on the inside as well so if you're going out and if you want to power your electrical appliances using the car you can definitely do that for hours at end the charging happens through here and the soc is indicated by these four levels now in terms of charging times if you're using the 11 kilowatt hour wall mounted charger this car will take around seven hours if you're using the 50 kilowatt hour charger it'll take around an hour and if you're using the 350 kilowatt supercharger super fast charger this car can be charged in 18 minutes flat so if you have access to the fast charger the 350 kilowatt charger this car can be charged from 10 to 80 percent in 18 minutes flat now the vehicle to load can be used using this socket right here now apart from the 530 liters of generous boot space that you have at the back you also have this useful frunk which is about 57 liters and is good for a couple of haversacks at the very least so you have additional space here as well you have sound deadening here and all of this looks very very clean the design of this car overall is fantastic and to me this car is one of those cars which is going to go down in history as a timeless model now let's get inside the cabin of this car and find out the wonders of this cabin which has won it many accolades across the world now apart from entering the car you can use the key to open the tailgate you just have to hold this and the tailgate will open you can open the charging panel like so and you can turn the battery on and put the car uh, in the ready to drive mode as well by pressing this button so all of these features are built into the key and that really is a great convenience you can shut the tailgate down as well by long pressing the key like so and the same is true for the charging socket as well now as I mentioned the doors are flush fitting and you also have a key slot here just in case uh, the batteries are not working or there's a problem with the system I simply love these ridges on the doors this is another design element that I absolutely love but this car is not just about form this is also about function and sustainability and one look at this cabin here makes it come across as something that you have absolutely not seen ever before it's one of the cleanest designs one of the most functional designs that i've ever seen on a car ever and it really gives you a sense of the template that most of the born electric cars are going to follow going forward in the future and their respective advantages now another thing that electric cars are going to do to you is that going forward most of the cars are going to be semi-autonomous or autonomous and the driver involvement is going to get less and less and in that context the cabins of most of the cars are going to replicate your lounge or your home or your comfort areas and in that sense this design takes a leap forward and the moment you get inside you feel a very airy very lounge like kind of an ambience and it looks really really stunning now that's not just it the beauty of this car's cabin is more than skin deep and the details as you see here this part here if you see looks like traditional handcrafted paper and this material is known as paperette if you look at these panels they are made from recycled materials the leather itself has been dyed with natural bio oils part of this car have been painted using flower paint paint which has been extracted using flowers so a lot of sustainable materials have gone into the making of this car not just that if you look at the back of the seats here this material right here has been made using recycled plastic bottles so sustainability has been a major theme and Hyundai have 
left no stone unturned in making sure that this car is not just beautiful looking and comfortable but also very very sustainable the front headrest can be adjusted fore and aft at three positions now if you look at the seats here they can be adjusted in more number of ways than you can imagine and you also get this calf support so that you can drive for a very long time without any fatigue so you have fore and aft adjustment recline as well as lumbar support which is electric so uh, the seat adjustment by itself is quite comprehensive and you get memory seats not just for the front passengers but also for the rear passengers as well which is absolutely phenomenal for this class of cars you get this ionic 5 branding and the seating on this car is just about perfect it's neither too high nor too low and while hyundai is calling it an suv this is more of a crossover and once you get inside you realize how low the dashboard here is and the advantages of it being a born electric car are very very evident everything is beautifully laid out the dashboard has been pushed forward and there is just acres and acres of space here the window line is low so you can look around very very clearly the visibility is absolutely amazing you are surrounded by these two 12.3 inch screens and the color palette here is absolutely beautiful this pebble gray color along with this light shade looks very futuristic very elegant very nordic i would say very scandinavian and i just love what hyundai have done with this dashboard but it's not just the colors and the design it's also the functional part of it there's just so much space for you to move your legs around there is absolutely no transmission tunnel so it would really really enhance your comfort over longer journeys you have these metal pedals the thigh support is absolutely spot on and these seats are meant to be declined all the way back so in case you are stopped at a battery replenishment point where you have to wait for an hour you can just lounge around for hours at end without any problem at all so the seats here have to be one of the most comfortable that i have come across and the overall design is also quite unique another unique thing is this magnetic pad here where you can just put a magnet and you can put a post-it note or the picture of your family here so this little thing here is also quite unique you can turn the traction control off from here you have electronic parking brake auto hold function and you can open the tailgate using this button as well the bonnet opens from here you have a dead pedal and overall as i mentioned the instrument console and the infotainment system look absolutely amazing now another great thing about this central panel here is that it can be moved fore and aft by 140 mm and what's the use of that you may ask a if you so wish it would allow a person to walk through the cabin but that's not the real use the real use is that when you pull it back even the rear passengers can use this armrest uh, for whatever purposes they would want to and that really uh, is the great use another great use is that it liberates even more space for you or the co-passenger to move your leg around and when you talk about space there are tons and tons of it you have a space for full one liter water bottle here now while the front two windows are auto up and down at the back you don't have one touch operation you also have electronic child lock and of course the mirrors are electrically adjustable you have the memory function right here and as you can see right now the seats are being adjusted based on the memory set by someone else you have a post system which sounds pretty good it's not the best sounding system but it's pretty good and for those of you who are not absolute audiophiles this system is more than enough continuing with the theme of space you have tons and tons of space here in the form of this cubby hole you have a usb socket here a 12 volt power socket here two cup holders which i'm using right now to put my cell phones then you have this enormous amount of space here where you can just pop anything you like the wireless charger sits right here and still if you thought that space was not good enough you have even more space right here so no dearth of space in this car and in, even that was not enough you have this really unique glove box which slides out and all of that really makes this one of the most spacious and functional cars in terms of storage areas that you would ever come across the glove box although very spacious and unique is not cooled two 12.3 inch screens now this beautiful instrument console also comes loaded with the settings for choosing one of the 64 colors of ambient lighting that this car comes loaded with and if you can have a look at that speaker there 
the rim of that speaker changes colors and it can be set in various different ways and the car lights up in various different parts and makes this cabin look even more amazing when it's dark two zone ac and you have hard buttons as well as i mentioned the 360 degree camera here is absolutely awesome and as you can see you can see a projection of your car and you can set it up in a lot of different ways so it's one of the nicer 360 degree cameras that you'll come across ac vents are pretty sturdy and most of the controls are self explanatory so uh, that's amazing the only thing that could probably have been better is that the electric seats at the rear and the memory function for them could also have been facilitated using hard buttons but right now you have to set that up using this touch screen right here so the memory seat configurations happen through the software on the screen here now the seat here is both heated and ventilated both for the driver and passenger so that again is a fantastic thing and one of the features which is considered very very premium as i mentioned this beautiful panoramic sunroof is static it doesn't move and the great thing about this sunroof is that the blinds on it come from both the ends so that's quite a unique way to open or close the blinds of a car so that again is quite a dramatic effect both driver and passenger sides get a vanity mirror along with an illumination in addition to all of that like all hyundai cars this comes with a connected car suite with 60 plus connected car features this also comes with level 2 adas functions which has everything that you can think of so it has the blind spot monitoring system front collision avoidance it has lane keep assist uh, adaptive cruise control it has the safe exit warning everything that we saw in the tucson and more so this car is one of the most feature rich adas 2 cars that you can come across in india loaded with all the semi autonomous technologies that are available right now in this country so in terms of adas very very feature rich the steering here is flat bottoms you have this drive mode selector here and you can choose from eco normal and sport modes and you can choose the snow mode also by holding the drive mode so if you're driving in conditions where you have less traction you can choose the snow mode as well this comes with six airbags and there are a ton of other safety features as well this car has a technology where the battery pack is integrated with the body so in terms of trash protection you get optimum trash protection and in the case of a crash this is known to be one of the safer cars out there when it comes to the electric car ecosystem just like some of the other hyundai cars this car also comes with ambient sounds of nature the audio system here comes with seven speakers and a subwoofer the car also gets tpms highline system and it also gets smart home to car with alexa and google voice assistant now this little button here is really special and pressing this twice like once like this and then like this is going to engage the relaxation seats and just by one press of the buttons the seats are going to go in the total relaxation mode and this is valid on both the ends now this button on the front co passenger seat is meant to release the zero gravity position of the seat and once you press it the seat will go back to its position to which it was last configured allowing the passenger to come in or go out with ease of course you get your battery status the range etc all of that is right there and just like uh, we saw on some of the other uh, hyundai cars you get sounds of nature you get the valet mode uh, you also get on board navigation hyundai's blue link is there and all of this is very easy to understand so up front it's a fantastic space to be very very lounge like very comfortable very spacious very light very modern very scandinavian i would say in terms of design and the great thing that you have here is that if you have not noticed yet you don't have a drive selector lever here so that lever has been moved here and here using this little lever here you can choose from drive neutral reverse and park mode so put it in park you just have to press this little little button here and you're done so more space here and talking about this space right here you also have two more usb sockets to power your electronic equipment now the one thing that i find missing here is that you don't have any type c usb sockets up front at least and had there been at least one type c usb socket that would have been fantastic in terms of features i really cannot complain about anything this has been very tastefully done and is loaded with features you name it and this front part of the cabin has it let's move towards the back of this cabin and see how much space do we have there and what are the additional features 
Absolutely. Now, before we get in some details about this door panel as well, and you get these blinds to protect one from a hot sun, like the one that we have right now here in Goa. And the materials here, as I mentioned while I was showing you the front panel, are all sustainable. This is again pepperette. And all of this is fantastic. At the rear also you have heated seats, although you don't have ventilation. It would have been really nice had we had ventilation here because that is uh, the more asked for uh, feature here in India. But you have heated seats anyway. And you have space for a one liter water bottle here as well. Just like the front you have this pixel grid and Ionic 5 branding here. And the seats don't come all the way to the end and you have some open space here. Getting in is damn easy and as I mentioned 3000 mm of wheelbase allows this car to have one of the most spacious back seats in business and getting in here is pretty easy as well and just look at the amount of knee room headroom and leg room that i have here now if you look closely i'm about 5 feet 10 inch and if you're about 6 feet you will not have any problem whatsoever so while there's ample shoulder room knee room leg room and headroom uh, if you're just too tall, probably your head will brush with the roof, but this is more than enough for a well-built person. You have two USB sockets here, although you still don't have a type C socket here. You have some more storage space and the AC vents for the rear seats are mounted in the B pillar. You can control the flow from here and you get these reading lights, a handle and a coat hook along with an armrest with two cup holders. Three individual adjustable headrests, a proper three-point seat belts, isofix child seat mounts, fantastic thigh support. And while the seat is high up because of the battery pack, I don't think your knees will point upwards. It's very lounge-like, very comfortable, very, very nicely done. And these seats can also be manually adjusted for recline angle. So that's, again, fantastic. And you can also slide these seats fore and aft electrically using buttons on either side and you can see that in action right here magazine holders for whatever you might want to store here you can hold a bottle or a magazine or a newspaper or your cell phone whatever you may wish to store there apart from everything else as i mentioned before you have this vehicle to load socket here as well which can power your heavy electronic equipment while being inside the car as well it can power some appliances as well Using these buttons here, you can move the rear seats fore and aft. So this button here is for the left seat, as you can see. And this one here is for the right seat. So the driver up front can also use these buttons to move these seats fore and aft. And so can the passengers on either side. Now this button here can be used to bring the front passenger seat all the way back as well. Like so. All in all, absolutely nothing to complain about. Maybe if this car had the rear blinds as well, it, it would have been fantastic, but it has everything else. And if I really had to complain, there are no type C USB sockets here, but apart from that, tons and tons of space and a really nice, airy, beautiful view from here, very wide. You can actually seat three here and go long distance traveling if you so wish. So one of the nicest back seats you'll come across in any car, thanks to its long wheelbase and fantastic space management you have these blinds here if i really had to complain probably this car could have done with rear blinds as well and maybe a couple of type c usb sockets but apart from that a fantastic space to be and you can actually seat three here and go long distance traveling so i've been driving this car for some time now and at the very outset i want to say that this is one of the nicest electric cars that i've ever driven and even before you start driving it, the kind of visibility that you have from here with this low dashboard which is pushed away, you have a sense of space that you don't get in any other car. So it's really a different experience, very neat, very Nordic, very Scandinavian, a very different, very premium kind of a feel from behind the steering wheel. It's D-cut, very neatly done. And right from the word go, this car is silent, smooth. And one annoying thing that I've seen about a lot of other electric cars is the steering which feels either overly weighty or very artificial. This one strikes a good balance, although this is still not very neutral, doesn't have a ton of feedback. But still, among the electric cars that I've driven, especially the ones which can go pretty fast, this car has a very nice, decent steering wheel. Again, this is not very neutral, doesn't have a very good feedback, but it's neatly weighted 
at speeds it feels nice and the most amazing thing about this car is that it sticks to the road even when you're driving it over undulating surfaces at high speeds doesn't bounce around too much so in that sense what really makes this car amazing is its comfort the, another great thing is the absorption capabilities of the suspension it's really one of the nicest comfy riding cars that i have come across now since i have not talked about the battery specs of this car it's one of the highest powered battery packs across segments with 72.6 kilowatt hour of battery on it and it's less than its brethren its cousin from kia which is the kia ev6 which has about 77 kilowatt hour about 5 kilowatt hour or thereabouts more and the kia also gives you more range at 700 plus but this one also is one of the highest anywhere it's 631 kilometers area certified which in the real world i think would translate to about 450 plus in eco mode beyond that it would be a bit of a struggle for this car but 450 kilometers is something that you hardly ever drive how many times have you actually driven a car for that kind of a distance so for all practical purposes i believe that the range anxiety should not be an issue now continuing with the performance part the 0 to 100 time on this car is 7.6 seconds which is very quick however there are other electric cars which can go quicker in fact the ev6 also does its 0 to 100 in 5.2 seconds which definitely is quicker than this car but for all practical purposes this is a lot quicker than most of the ICE cars that you have on the road and the people who drive a lot amongst you would know that 7.6 seconds for the turn is pretty darn quick so this feels really quick and within the blink of an eye you see the turn mark on the speedo now there is this bad patch here and I'm just going over it now you have to understand that the wheelbase of this car is one of the longest across segments and what that helps with is that when the car's front is going over a bad patch it gives the front enough time to settle down before the rear comes into play and that really gives this car a very settled very very stable very comfy kind of a stance and that's the reason why it rides on the road in such a poised manner so the ride quality the stability the way this car feels when you're at speed or at low speeds is really amazing it's one of the standout features of this car its stability its comfort uh, apart from that uh, it also gets region modes so you can change the region modes using these paddle shifters so this one here increases the region as you can see here there's an indicator and right now uh, it's at its highest and you can reduce it using this one here so currently it was on three now it's on two it's on one now one step further and finally it goes on the auto mode now the region on this car as well is one of the strongest that i've seen anywhere and you can feel very strong deceleration if you accelerate hard and take your foot off the car decelerates and if you can anticipate traffic ahead you won't even have to use the brake so that again is a great feature all in all it's one of the nicest cars that i've come across and it's a template of how electric cars of the future would be with the Hyundai Ioniq 5 Hyundai have come of age they are a Korean manufacturer who were ridiculed when they came up with their cars earlier slowly they built a reputation and then their cars started selling in America they had fantastic warranties gradually they came close to the Germans and now with this electric transition especially with the Ioniq 5 they have proven to the world that they can make cars which are not just as good as the Germans and other established car makers from various parts of the world but they can actually lead the pack and when I say that this car is one of the best electric cars you can buy anywhere in the world I really really mean it it's one of the nicest plushest most balanced cars especially in the Indian context that you can buy and if you're looking for a premium car that drives you and your family around in comfort with a ton of space with a lot of speed the top speed of this car by the way is 185 kilometers per hour it's one of the most accomplished cars that you can buy and i can totally recommend this car to those of you who want to buy a premium electric car now with that battery pack this car gets the peak power of 217 ps and the torque is 350 newton meters again the kia ev6 has more power but in the real world you won't really feel the difference also internationally this car gets an awd this one here is a rear wheel drive which means that you can slide it around like so if you're in the mood and 
the Kia EV6 gets an AWD also but the big difference here is the enormous difference in the price point so this car is 45 lakh rupees ex showroom while the Kia EV6 starts at a hefty 60 lakh rupees and the AWD version is 65 lakh rupees that's a difference of 15 lakh rupees to start with on the ex showroom price and if you talk about the on the road price the difference would go to up to 18 lakh rupees which is a huge difference so in that sense the Ionic 5 has a massive advantage in terms of the suspension setup you have a macpherson strut up front and a multi-link setup at the rear which is as good as it gets and from the seat of the pants experience i really don't have anything to complain about this car it can be a ton of fun for all practical purposes again this is not a bmw this is not a sports car so for a family car this can be plenty fun there is a long wheelbase the track is wide and this car can hold its line very well the steering could have been better it's not a sports car but it can be fun in its own unique way the steering is good the center of gravity is low so all of that really makes it an enjoyable car if you're on a long drive so both for practical purposes and to have a bit of fun around corners it's a fantastic package apart from its low center of gravity and fantastic handling this car also gets michelin pilot tires which are really nice and exceptionally grippy and add to the handling prowess of this car now these flaps come on when the ac of the car is turned on or when the car is at 80 kilometers per hour of speed or more this car is available in gravity gold matte optic white and midnight black pearl colors and the interior is available in the color that i showed you that's a dark pebble gray interior now in terms of warranty you get three years unlimited kilometers warranty which can be extended to five years one lakh forty thousand kilometers and you also get an eight year one lakh sixty thousand kilometers battery warranty as well you also get two complimentary home chargers 3.3 kilowatt and 11 kilowatt so that's that guys the hyundai ioniq 5 is here to change the game in the premium ev market and up to this price point i would go ahead and say that this probably is the most value for money car that you can buy it's fantastic in terms of the way it looks the kind of features that it offers about its interior it's absolutely fascinating the range is amazing the performance is great you also have the ev6 which is based on the same egmp platform but that car is about 15 lakh rupees at least more expensive up to 20 lakh rupees of course there is a little bit more performance there but this has a longer wheelbase and while you also have the xc40 recharge but that's not a born electric car that's more expensive as well and in terms of value proposition the kind of features that you have the hyundai ionic 6 is here to change the game as i mentioned also it's a timeless design it's a futuristic well thought out car and very difficult to find flaws with if you're in the market to look for a premium high quality car that is going to pass the test of time i strongly recommend that you go out and have a test drive of the hyundai ionic 5 for as i mentioned before it's not without reason that this car won the world car of the year award 2022 i really hope that you like this video if you found value in this do hit that like button subscribe to motoroids and until next time this is your friend amit changani signing off rev hard rev free and drive safe